So welcome back. The abrupt end of of part 11 was pretty pretty wild because I had the front facing camera and of course that that one that uh, particular lens isn't as good as the one that's the rear facing. So with that ending abruptly, this is a complete chassis. So basically what you have here, you can see where I soldered everything. Let me get up there close. Um, let me add some light here too if I can. I don't think that's doing a good job. Let's just stick with what we have here. I can get it. So I'm gonna zoom in. You're gonna see how I can get that there. See how all that is soldered on there? So what you're kind of going after is to get that kind of um, amount of solder on there. And then right there is when I explained how it flows because I was doing it from the opposite side. And you can see how it flows there. Let's see if we get closer. Yeah, everything flows right there toward the back. And the same thing here. This is from the front. You see from the back, you'll see how it, I don't know if you could see that, how it flowed. Gosh, it's hard to focus in here. But I don't know what kind of music I'm listening to. My wife picked a station and I don't really like it. But so excuse the music. Uh, but there's how that looks like. Oh, we got a complete chassis, folks. This is what it looks like when it's done. I don't know if my damn camera would focus. No, it did, finally did. This is the whole deal here. This is what it's all about. So we got our guide, our wire guide, you know, tubes to guide the wires to the, uh, to, to the guide itself. We have our mortar bracket. Now, here's the last part that you will do that I explained in the beginning of the first videos. This is where you'll cut this right here and here because your crown gear is gonna be right here. I recommend cutting, not all the way to the end, but leaving a little bit, just like a smidge, and just, you know, cut her there and there. And you can do that because now the everything's soldered, so you're not gonna affect anything when you're, you know, as you're soldering the rest of it, if you cut those earlier, these things would start coming out of line and then you'll, you'll just have to redo the whole thing again on the back there. So this is a complete chassis. Um, all set to go Distance looks pretty good from the inside of the tire to the chassis itself and of course these tires are untrue That's why they got a lot of the You know part of the process of the uh, the molding and stuff So that's what looks that way and it is important to true the tires because that will improve performance uh, You want to clean those tires down so that they're nice and smooth because they're not exactly you know <laughs> perfect when you get them That's why you true them so that's it, that's a complete chassis. I'll do another video on how I put my guide on and put my motor on, what I use to press my gear on, what gear I'm gonna be using, and stuff like that. So that's it from Area 51 Raceway. Uh, hope you enjoyed everything that I've done so far and you take care and have fun racing.